Hey, it's Chad with GeoPro. Today I'm going to be demonstrating some of the new capabilities of Aerodat 2.1. We've made some improvements and so we want to show them off. Um, we're going to start by importing in the end of runway coordinates. Uh, Aerodat now supports multiple coordinate systems. As long as you have an EPSG code, uh, we can uh, add it to the program. Um, right now, just the standard version is NAD83 state plane. WGS84 UTM and SWIREF because we do work in Sweden. Um, we're going to be working today in Alaska Zone 4. We'll select the end of runway coordinates and the file format, the column sequence, and hit OK. And here we are. Uh, next thing we want to do is import in the centerline profile. This is an improvement in 2.1, so we say OK. And if we now go in and look at that runway, we can view the centerline profile. And it creates this nice graphic of us. It's showing an exaggeration of 20. Um, but the cross-section centerline profile looks like this. And we can save that out. That's a DWG if we want it. Uh, next thing we want to do, though, is add an analysis. So 2.1 now supports some of the more critical surface analysis types, um, FAA's 13A design table, uh, the FAA's Advisor Circular 18B, as well as FAR 77 and the ICAO Annex 14. Um, we're going to start with ICAO and we're going to add the Precision Approach Category 2-3. Um, this is one of the more complicated and larger surfaces. It takes a while to analyze manually, um, so we're going to show the speed of that. Um, we're also going to add uh, the 18B surfaces, the vertically guided. Um, these are two surfaces you would typically analyze together, but we want to demonstrate the capability here. So, uh, Next thing we want to do is add obstacles. Um, the point format is the same. Let's click OK. This file actually has 10,000 obstructions in it. Um, so that is a lot of points. Um, we measured photogrammetrically and ground survey, and that quickly it computes the analysis on everything. Um, so if as we zoom in, you know, whoop, if we float over top of a point, it'll give us the point number, the, the description, and then the various penetrations for the two surface types. We want to look at the data table. Again, this is an improvement from um, version 2.0. Uh, 2.1 now allows you to view all of the data in a single table. So we have the point, the XYZ, the description, and then across the top, the columns, now, so you have an analysis type of Annex 14. It lists, lists the various surfaces that make up that analysis, and then lists the penetration amount. Um, and then over to the side, you have the second analysis also. So you get all the results in one data table. Um, if it says NA, that surface is, or that point is not applicable to that surface, meaning the point lies outside of the surface. You can also save these results out to CSV um, or run some filters. If you say show me only obstructed, uh, it's going to take a second and give you only obstructing points. Uh, or all obstacles gives you all the information. Um, so that's that. Let's see what else. Uh, one of the nice features, again, that we've added in 2.1 is a cross section view. So if we come in to look at the 18B surfaces and we want to look at the vertically guided approach surface, the VGAS, and we say view cross section, gives us this nice cross section in a CAD view of all the surfaces, or of all the points, and if we um, mouse over one, it gives us point description and penetration value. We can also increase the exaggeration there if we want to make it more dramatic and make the analysis even easier to do. So, um, or from the top, we view the cross view, look at the top, look at it in many different ways front view. Not very useful, but still interesting to see. Or the classic map view. Um, you can switch between the different, the road or the aerial format. Nice transition there. 
And again, you can save this out to a DWG. We're working in 2.2 to add Google um, KMZ format so that all of this data can be dumped out and make it very accessible. Um, also likely be adding uh, shapefile format. Um, so that is 2.1. I hope you found this video useful. We will certainly continue to make changes and improvements. And if you have any ideas or suggestions, um, please feel free to email me. Uh, otherwise, we'll be in touch. Thanks.